have reached rest grace with rwgresearch.com. Open dash source dash energy. Video series RWG OSD. Oversized Delta. Welcome back everybody. It's a new day. I think it's the 20th. Is it the 20th? Today is the 20th. The 20th. Holy cow. All right. So I have this ribbon cable, which I actually, um, I rolled it up really tightly because it was pretty messed up and twisty and all sorts of bad things. So I rolled it up really, really tight and I set it in the sun for a while, like a month and a half. And then I unrolled it and set it in the sun for like a month and a half in my windowsill. So these wires are pretty well flat and straight and a little bit easier to work with. If you buy it new, it's fine. Um, so I also, like I said, peeled off in the, the wire here with this shielded stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually wrap this wire inside of here like this. Okay, and then I'm going to actually do that with two of these so I'm going to be able to get 20 wires and a bundle of of uh, of this regular wire up into that channel it's going to be a tight squeeze I think what I'm going to do is just use some tape and tape this and then actually put a string through here and pull it now I also went ahead and put Kapton tape in here around that corner just to give it a little extra protection in case uh, something happens now my original idea, which was actually I think someone else's idea, was to take some straws and, you know, line the inside of this first section with a straw. That is a real challenge and it's not really working out. I'm just going to try pulling the wire. Hopefully I don't shred it. We'll see. Well, I'm finding out that I can fit two of these in there, but it's going to be a challenge. These have to be perfect. And if they're not, I don't think it's going to work. So I originally taped the ends and then I just put a tiny little piece of tape every so often because this seems to wrap perfectly around the center wire. Then I'll do the same thing for this wire, just tape it lightly. And I think the tape is thin enough that we'll be okay. As long as it doesn't get pulled off while I'm pulling it through, that can be a potential problem. But really, I just need this to stay in place while I pull it through, and after that, it can untape itself. Just needs to stay perfect, because if this gets in a twist, you know, or something like this, it ain't gonna work. So we'll keep going with this idea and see if it works. Actually, it's pretty stiff because because uh, this wire, when you bend it, you know, it doesn't have any any motion the other direction. Oh boy. I am ready. So what I've done is attached a solid piece of copper and I've actually soldered it to a couple of the wires, stripped and soldered the two of them, taped that bundle nicely. And then I just went ahead and left this guy loose. I think I can feed it through there and make it work just fine. It's just the other bundle I have to sort of make sure it stays because doing both or all three at the same time is a challenge. Now I'm also going to use a little soapy water here and uh, put just a little bit as I go because that'll go a long way. Tiny little lube helps out tremendously. Listen to them all I can sing. Find a world you've never been. To inspire you, let your dreams come true. Oh. Well, I've had to think outside the box. So I've tied my wire here because I really need a second person to pull and someone to also help feed the wire. And I, I'm by myself. So. I've tied the wire to a screw that I screwed into the side of the cabinet. Luckily, we don't have the sides on this side yet, <laughs> like the diamond plate on that side. And um, I soldered all of the wires, all of them, in this bundle to the 
small copper wire, which apparently needs to be a little bigger because I actually broke it. Thankfully, it's right here, and I think I can grab it with some pliers. So I moved this, as you saw, I moved this as that stayed in place so I could actually pay attention to what, what happens here. So anyway, let's try to feed the rest of this wire through. This is not an easy task, but I want as many wires as I can get in there, so I gotta do it this way. Yay! I did it. So we got our motor wire coming out of the motor wire hole. We got our hall sensor and our hall sensor wire. We've got the two 10 bundle cables coming out. Fits in there nicely. And then we've got the motor wire and the two bundles coming out of the bottom. So that, my friends, is how you absolutely hide wires. So you can look all the way around the channel and the channel's all open and you're like, hmm, how did you do that? Yeah. Slick. Challenging. Uh, but we got it. Now we got two more to do. Now the third one's actually gonna be a little different. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have number two motor wires, one for the extruder. And so I'll I'll put another one of these together and call that one leg. That way we got 40 wires going up to the top. That should be plenty for everything we need, um, I think. And then I'll try to put two of these bundles in a single one, and if I can fit five more wires, then I'll put five more wires in there. Just the more I get in there, the better. Ooh, all right. Welcome back. So we've got all the beams except for this one done and this one's going to be a little different. The other one had the ribbon cable, had this cable for the motor, but this one's going to have power cables and heavier cables for the heating element and um, an extra set of cables for the motor and then probably a power supply. I'll just make a main rail power coming up instead of using a bunch of these little ones. That'll allow me to really be versatile with 20 extra wires in there on all the signals and stuff that I need. So, I've got some different kind of wire. This is unshielded wire. It's all I could find. This shielded wire that I was using for my motors, I only have so much of this. So I think what I'm going to do is shield the power wires I'm putting in here and unshield the motor wires. Kind of do it in reverse because I only have so many of these wires with shielding on it. Look through everything I had and I couldn't find anything and all this stuff and all the stuff I got at home. My goodness took me over an hour to get these wires in here so basically I was able to pull in all of these this is eight oh hi <laughs> camera's a little loose huh so I was able to pull in uh, these let's see eight yeah there's two for the 
if I put in an extra extruder, I want an extra uh, wire for a heating element. And then you've got this here, which is, uh, I have four of these and I could get them started. I just couldn't get them to go all the way down. So eventually you just ended up with two, which is not what I want, but it's fine. And then I've got, uh, then I've got the motor wire for the actual rail motor. Anyway, this was a little frustrating. Oh my goodness. I really wanted to get those two extra wires in there, but I just couldn't pull it through. So there we are. Let's figure out what we're doing next and move on. Things worked out fine. I got them done. Here are the three arms completed. I did go ahead and uh, put heat shrink tubing on the wires with the uh, coating on them or the uh, shielding because I'm afraid it'll get all messed up. Plus, it's extra shielding protection against the things uh, inside here where it pinches inside of here. So I did that. Put extra long ones here and I can put a little more if I need to. I kind of like the idea of keeping all these bundles nice. I was going to heat shrink these, but I don't see the reason for that. I did, however, heat shrink these. Um, the reason I was gonna run extra wires here is because I wanted four for a particular purpose, but it's okay. I really have plenty of wires right here. And that's a saw in the background. How about them apples? Well, this really was a pretty good challenge. It took me almost five hours or so to put the wires in here. Um, I guess maybe some of that might include in machining, but I don't even think it included machining. So, yeah, I think uh, we'll move on to the next phase of things and see what we come up with. I guess we'll have to put it together next. <laughs> 